often this segment is called John Wisconsin, the things that matter from John's childhood in yeah. Wisconsin and the funny stories and all that. But today we're taking it a little bit of a different way. This is the first time you're ever going to share John non-Wisconsin. John non-Wisconsin. These are reasons to kick you out. These are reasons that if if now they're out here, I could lose my card. Uh, I could be excommunicated. Uh, it could be really bad. I could be sent to Minnesota. Don't do that. Um, it could be the depths of hell. What if I get sent to the UP? <laughs> I love the UPers, but uh, what do, I mean, nobody wants. I was talking with somebody about that the other day at the NCAA cross country meets. And they're like, I, I get it. I don't know. You feel like it should be part of Wisconsin. We don't want it. Canada's like, forget it. We're out. Michigan's like, okay, but it's going to screw up our map. Anyway, <laughs> lovely people up there. I love to go skiing when I could go up to Brule or Pine Mountain or any of those places. So I, I jest. Um, but there are things that I have uh, that are probably things that people will go, well, I don't know that we can really reasonably rely on this guy anymore. Much as I had said during the break, when I don't know that I can rely on you, knowing your butter choices and your green bean choices and your potato choices. There's going to be more people that agree with me, by the way. But you, I'm just telling you, I am shocked. It has, uh, it has, ruined, it has really shaken the foundation of our relationship right now. And, and I don't know. This could be the, uh, the final episode of Inside Wisconsin. Yeah, so here's the list that you're about to share. Go All ahead. Right. I don't like cheese curds. I'm out. There you go. It's because it's not real cheese. What does it's, that mean? It's nursery rhyme cheese. Eating her curds and whey, Miss Muffet. I like real cheese. I like it done. It's near cheese. It's not done yet. It's 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 pre-cheese. I, I need cheese. What the hell are you talking about? Are just you talking about you, fried cheese curds? Any cheese curd. And just because you fry it doesn't fix it. I know that. We like to do that. That's our thing. Mushroom? Ah, not great. But if we deep fry it, maybe it'll be better. I'm not a cheese curd guy. I don't like when it squeaks in there on your cheese and your teeth. And I just can't. I just get the finished product. Give me this good sharp cheddar. I'll eat it. Give me the nice cacana spreadable cheese. I'm in. I didn't not, expect to fight this much on things. I, I'm not. I'm not a, I don't. I don't like cheese curds. I'll eat it if it's there, but it's not. It's just not. Not my thing. Okay, I, I'm writing this crap down. Yep. Uh, some of this could be because of 30 years in broadcast, but I've broken my. I don't say jeepers anymore. Uh. I don't borrow stuff off of people. <laughs> hey, can I borrow that vest off you? Which is very Wisconsin. Uh, I don't say terms like use guys. You go over to Kroll's, use guys ready to order. I just say y'all or, or all of you. So you've lost. I, I have connection. things in the syntax, some things in my vocabulary now that would throw me. I still say bubbler. Yeah. Good. Gross, but for the most part, yeah, there are some things uh, that, and, and I go back and now people find it hard to identify that I'm they're like, you don't sound like you're from Wisconsin. So I have that. Hopefully that's not the worst offense. We've kind of covered number three. I don't hunt. I don't own any blaze orange. And I only mildly tolerate fishing. But you do fish? Well, my dad would go, hey, would you like to go fish? Yeah, that's your dad. You're going to go fish. You know, he'd sit on the pier with my son. We'll drown a worm. But I'm not a fishing guy. I don't have the patience for that. And it's very much like deer hunting. I'm not sitting there waiting for fish to decide he wants to play with me. I'm, I'm, I'm out. So you don't. What's really remarkable, Trevor, is that my paternal father, the one who passed away when I was six months, mm -hmm. was a huge, avid outdoorsman. No kidding. I have fishing tackle of his, fishing mm -hmm. rods of his, two rifles of his, things I don't know what to do with because I will never use them. There's a little John boat that I finally, uh, that he had to, you know, to to, to fish in, and I, I don't have that anymore. I gave that to someone else in the family. Um, but it was really, yeah. So it's really amazing sort of sometimes just the social um, way you are learned. My dad then that, that, that raised me was a Packer fan and we went to football. I realize you do both, but he didn't hunt. My brothers do, but I just never got that. But my paternal father was an unbelievable. My mom tells stories about how he'd bring home at the end of the month, a rabbit that he had shot to, to, to get him through the end of the, and my sister can remember stories of him taking her as she was three tromps and through the woods to go shoot a pheasant or through the fields to, but yeah, didn't get it. Um, number two, uh, I, I don't like brandy. Therefore, I'm not an old fashioned guy either. <gasps> Whether it's with Canadian club or everything. I just, could I just get a beer? I'm not a mixed drink. I'm not a whiskey guy, but yeah. So I'm not really, I am not an old fashioned connoisseur. And if you ever go, you will never, ever, I've never really actually ordered an old fashioned. <gasps> wow. Wow. Right. I mean, at this point, I'm getting farther and farther away. I'm almost, I'm sad for you now. This is, I'm sad. I'm genuinely sad. Yeah. And as bad as those things are, <laughs> right? As, as much as those are close to getting at, 
Uh, number one, as uh, they're about to see, my favorite football player was not only not a Packer, he was a Bear. Walter Payton is my favorite football player. Bar none, no excuses. When he played in Lambeau Field, I'd run down there wearing a Bear stocking cap to see Walter Payton. So it's confessional time. That jersey that Brian Gutekun sent you is 34 for <laughs> Walter. You are so troubled by this. I am more pissed off now than I even was before. Yeah. So when they asked what number you wanted, it's not because I really like Don Chandler or Turdell Middleton. I said, yeah, I'd love it. That would be great. Thank you. What number? 34. I didn't say because Walter Payton's my favorite player. But yeah, the 34 on my Packer jersey is because I, and every hat I have, 34. Um, oh, yeah. We could actually. If you want to, if you want to break into my, my accounts in my bank or in my computer at work, anything like you can bet there's 34 in there in some way, shape or form. It's not quite that simple. Um, yeah. And he was, he was my guy. That and What's amazing is how much I like him is that Jersey I have there that is signed actually got as a Christmas gift from my dad who couldn't be more Packerish, mm -hmm. but he bid on it and then kind of sat there on it until the bidding closed. Cause he was willing to go up and up and up. So that was, yeah, that was my guy. And I'm getting kicked out because I put dried onions on top of green bean casserole. Like that is. No, that's no. just, that's, that's just a small character flaw. That doesn't get you out. No, the butter thing should totally get you out. Yeah, and that, that should be worse than any offense I've committed. That's just me liking a guy. You go right to the core of the economic engine of this state. Wow. You know, wow. Too soon. <laughs> so, I'm just telling you, yeah, not all, not all offenses are equal in this case, but. Yeah, so th those are some things that I think uh, every once in a while, I don't know that I apologize for them. I just have to explain that, yeah, we all have some things, you know, like I like kneecaps at the state fair. I dig snowmobile. And I'm like, yeah, I got a lot. You know, there's just some things. Yeah, well. those. So you would put that. So you would say that right after the Walter Payton, the cheese curds thing is the second most egregious thing on that list. And the old fashioned thing. I mean, I understand not everybody likes the outdoors and does outdoorsy things like wear blaze orange and go shoot right. animals. I understand that. And I, I would expect that your success at ESPN was fairly dependent on you using or losing, I should say, the uh, Wisconsin in you. Uh -huh. You just couldn't bring that to the sports center desk. But these other things, I mean, the, the if you're not going to drink and eat cheese curds with us, Anderson, what good are you? Yeah. Just don't go throw on a Packer label and pretend that uh, logo and pretend that's going to cure that's everything, awesome. huh? Oh, man. Wisconsin, we are absolutely loving bringing this show to you. We have big things planned for the new year, so make sure to stick with us. Subscribe here on YouTube. Follow us on social media. Uh, and truly, from John and myself, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And until next time, as you were, Wisconsin. I'm just going to add one thing to the people. Yeah. The jersey is magnificent. <laughs> Inside Wisconsin is brought to you by Baycare Clinic, Cobblestone Creek, the University of Wisconsin Platteville, Mill Home Supper Club, Festival Foods, Capital Credit Union, North Star Mohican Casino Resort, American Family Insurance, and Roll Tech. Shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down.